I've learned Arabic from zero. Uh, as you've been studying Arabic, have you been uh, discovering that uh, there are connections uh, to the Spanish language? Uh, A lot, subhanAllah. Is, uh, it, was, it was pretty easy for me to learn Arabic, subhanAllah. <laughs> So how did I go from not knowing Arabic, just like here? Very good, man. To converse in the Arabic language fluently, like here. تمام ما في مشكلة فسألني لكن هل تعلم اللغة العربية التي يتكلمون الناس في الشوارع؟ So welcome to this video. My name is Muhammad. I am the founder of AndersInstitute.com where we teach Arabic from scratch to fluency. And in this video, I want to give you two main things. The main one is the formula that I have personally used and that my students use in order for them to perfect their Arabic conversation skills. And the second thing is I will show you how you can start immediately using this system for yourself. So, so what is this simple concept in order for you to apply and with time and using this concept to achieve Arabic fluency in your speech especially? And of course, speech being the top of skills when it comes to speaking skill sets. Now there is speech, there is hearing and understanding, there is reading and understanding. So when it comes to speech is the one that, that's at the top. So this is why we are going to talk about speech today, but it obviously affects in a good way the rest of skills when it comes to, to, um, to language learning. So what happens to your brain when you learn the Arabic language that you need to understand is this. So as you can see, all the red dots at your beginner level these are wrong expressions that you have in mind, that you have already memorized, but you are using them wrong. And then all the green dots is correct expressions that you use in a correct way. Just like, for example, you might know, Ismi Muhammad Kaifa Haluk. My name is Muhammad. How are you? Adrus al Tibba. I study medicine. Ila liqa. Until next time. Now, so these are expressions that you use, you have used enough times to know how to use them correctly. However, the rest of expressions might be expressions that you made up based on different vocabulary that you have learned and you have put together in sentences. It might be expressions that you have heard and thought that you are repeating them correctly, but they are not. Like for example, هَذَا suratu al abi. Now, so there is grammatical mistakes that you, you know, you might, you might know the words, you might know what hada means, you, you might know what surah means, you might know what abi means, but however, you don't know that hada is supposed to be hadi, that al abi, you cannot have ya an nisbah with alif and lam. You might know as well, la ushahidu anta liyawm. Naam, and you are saying it correctly. La uhibbu anta. So, how to fix this in order for these dots to become green? And instead of making the mistakes we were making before, now we say it correctly. So we say, هذه سورة أبي لم أراك اليوم لا أحبك. And just do that little tweak to start, you know, speaking more correctly and sound less like a freshie or like a caveman. So the concept that you need to use is, is very simple and it's called the feedback cycle, right? So the feedback cycle, how it would work is, the first step is practice speaking, you know, just put it in practice, whether it's speaking or whether it's, as we said, it might be writing, all right? So start by speaking Arabic regularly. Then second step is collect feedback get corrections and suggestions from native speakers or people that have learned the Arabic language or language tools. Now, third thing is make improvements, adjust your speech based on the feedback. So based on the corrections that you get, 
you just fix it and say it correctly next time. And then you just repeat. Continue practicing with the improvements and keep seeking feedback until your speech is perfected. Now, in a visual way, this is what, how it would look like. You, as a student, you would speak or write. Then the teacher, he will check, either listen to your speech, either see what you have written, the sentences you have written, if they are well formatted or not. And then eventually the teacher gives you correct and, you know, and corrects your mistakes. Now, if you're thinking, okay, where am I going to get a teacher? How am I going to uh, use this, this, this feedback cycle and everything? Don't worry. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how to put this in practice and how to find a system that already works, that is already proven. So you can, um, you know, decide if you want to partake on, uh, on, on this program and this, this uh, system that is already in place. And now after you get those mistakes corrected, the feedback goes back to you. So now it's your job to take that feedback and iterate based on that feedback and make it better. Now, so you just repeat the cycle again. You try again, teacher checks again, corrects more mistakes, feedback gets back to you. Go back again and do and keep on doing this. These are the only steps you need to do. You don't need to overcomplicate yourself. Books, this book, that book, this teacher, that method, this book. Don't overcomplicate yourself. That's all you need to do. So essentially, at your beginner level, you're going to have a lot of wrong expressions that you are saying. So you're just going to sound like basically a baby speaking. Um, I want uh, me what a little bit. Uh, please, yes, it's going to be slow, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be stuck. Every word is stuck behind the next word and it's not fluent. Then little by little, you start fixing all of those wrong expressions until you get to intermediate level. So now you have, you know, a good balance of good expressions, correct expressions that you say when you speak and when you write and wrong expressions. Now later, you keep on doing this long enough until you get to advanced level until eventually you get to fluency level and you fix all the wrong expressions that you were saying to the point where pretty much everything you are saying is correct and you just keep on repeating the cycle until you get to a point where you fix all your mistakes at this point you might ask yourself okay you know how do i make my teacher help me with this where, where do i find a tutor where do I find a uh, program that does this? So if you didn't know, I am the founder of AndersInstitute.com. And at AndersInstitute.com, we applied this method and this system in the program itself. So each student goes through this feedback, feedback cycle until completing the program. And I will show you right now. So as you can see, this is the platform of AndersInstitute.com that you can uh, you know, check out in the link in the description. Now, what we do at AndersInstitute.com is we play, basically apply that concept so you go over it and you're forced to go over it. Now, the way how it works is, well, first of all, this is, the, this is just the community. Once you go to the, once you're in the community, you, you click on Classroom and on Classroom, you're going to have access to the Arabic course. Now, so on the Arabic course is going to be me giving you different concepts, giving you different lessons, giving you different vocabulary words, giving you different sentences, expressions that you then have to go and memorize in order for you to be able to have all of those dots in your mind, even if they are red, but at least they are in your mind ready to use and ready to start collecting feedback. So I will just play it real quick so you see how this will look like. La should be like this. Alhamdulillah, not Allah. Right, so here, for example, there is, you know, different spelling benefits that most people make when they write. So as I said, you might get, you might get feedback on your speech or you might get feedback on your, on your writing. The point is all your skills when it comes to language, knowing how to write correctly, grammatically correct, knowing how to speak grammatically correct, knowing how to understand correctly. How does it change when somebody pronounces a word that is maybe written in a different way or something like that. So the point is, 
I keep on giving you info. I keep on giving you uh, lessons that you can then collect, start putting them in your mind, getting them ready to start using them. So we can go over that feedback, feedback cycle. So as you can see, you get you you go over over the lessons, and then at one point you are going to be asked to to basically um, send uh, certain exercises. So for example, here's an exercise. This exercise is the audio assessment. So you are going to listen to an audio, and then you will have to say if these sentences are correct. So in the audio that, that you have listened to, is Fatima's mother told her and her sisters that guests will be coming over today? So if in the audio it said that, you would say yes, and you would say that's correct and not. And so this is how the audio would, would sound like. طلبت منا أمي أن نعد بعض الطعام للضيوف. قالت إنني سأعجن العجين لصنع الكعكة. Alright, so you can you can slow it down here on the playback speed. You can make it a little slower if it's going too fast for your level. And then here's where the feedback cycle starts. So a teacher from our organization and institute will go ahead and collect this particular exercise, which is which is uh, to give you feedback on your hearing skills. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, sister. How are you? I just finished uh, correcting, mashallah, your writing for the audio. It was amazing. Allahumma barik. All right, so, so this uh, these is an example of, of feedback. I will show you another example of another exercise for feedback. For example, this exercise that this brother had to submit. And the reason why I show you the sister side is because everything is gender separated. So if you are a sister, the system will assign you our uh, sister, sister teachers. If you are a man, you are going to be assigned to the, to the males. So he can then answer the questions that are given. Then a teacher will go ahead. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother Abdul Rahman. MashaAllah, you have done great. Barakallahu feek. MashaAllah. And your answers are perfect. Barakallahu feek. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, Akhi Abdul Rahman. Just please uh, add the, the reading comprehension. Uh, answers. All right. So here um, is an example of, of you know a teacher giving you giving you feedback on your assessment that you are completed. Then once this is uh, corrected, this will turn into successfully completed, and it will allow you to go to the next lesson only if it's correct. So now this is in terms of um, when it comes to the skills of reading, when it comes to the skills of of listening. That's the type of feedback you're going to get. Now here, I want to show you, because as I told you, there's different types of feedback that you need. Now, in order for us to put you into a system where your speech is being given that feedback, we have speaking sessions that you can come here. You can check, you know, which instructor has time, the times that you want to, to go to, or which instructor you want to, uh, you know, to try out and see. Um, you know, if his personality applies better to your personality, if you like better his, his speaking style, whatever it might be. And you go ahead and, and book a session with that, with that teacher. It can be from lesson 1 to 10 or 10 to 30, as the levels might differ. And we don't want to have, um, and we don't want to have students who are very advanced. And then there's a couple of students that are in their beginner levels. Another thing we did as well is that each session with these teachers is only for three students. So only three students can be part of this session. The point of this is that you have enough time to speak because once it goes over f over three, then it might get a little overcrowded and you don't have enough time to speak in the session. So as you can see, each session has three spots and then you can just check the session that you want to be part of at one time is convenient for you. And then you just go ahead and book that session if there is a uh, available spots. Then from the sister side as well, for those sisters asking if, you know, these are uh, available for sisters as well. Yes, there is female instructors that only females can book uh, sessions with. 
that are obviously only female sessions. And the same concept applies, three individuals per session in order for everyone to, to benefit. So in our program, by applying these two features, first of all, the, you know, you're gonna have exercises where you have to write. So you are, you are working on your expression by writing sentences. And then the teacher, whether if you're a female, uh, female teacher, if you're a male, male teacher, is going to go over your feedback and send you a video back going over your sentences, going over your audio exercises, going over your work and giving you feedback. And so you go lesson after lesson, keep collecting feedback, then go into the speaking sessions, if you're male on the speaking sessions for, for males, if you're female on the speaking sessions for sisters, and then the teachers are going to give you feedback again on your expression, on your you know wrongly formed sentences, on your poor expression. And then what you do is you keep doing this over and over and over until you fix all them uh, wrong expressions and you start speaking Arabic uh, fluently. So I hope this was beneficial. Let me know in the comment section. I want to see who watched until here and who was actually interested. Uh, let me know by saying in the comments, Arabic conversation for beginners made easy. Let me see who, who is the, the real uh, loyal viewers. I want to see you in the comment section. And if anyone has any question, I will do my best to answer all the questions. Um, and uh, yeah, just let me know in the comment section. And inshallah, I will see you on the next one. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.